Hi guys, so I'm just going to show you how to use your information that you've researched this week um, and put it into paragraphs, which will then form your information report. So as you can see, I've got my notes here that I've written about elephants and I'm going to use each box to form a paragraph each. Now, um, I'm doing this on a computer because it's the easiest way to be able to show you how to do it. Um, I'd like you to please try and do this with um, a piece of paper and pencil for two reasons. One, the first reason is because it is going to help with your fine motor skills. So you haven't been writing with a paper and pen very much. So let's get those fingers and those muscles moving again. Um, also, when you're writing it on a piece of paper, it is the best way to um, try and put it into your own words rather than copying and pasting from the internet or from your notes. So um, please try and do this on a piece of paper or in your workbook at home um, and let's get started. So my information report is about elephants. So the first thing I need to do is my title, which is elephants. Um, now... I, my first paragraph would be usually my in, um, introduction or my classification. Um, I wouldn't usually put a subheading for this, but just so you have an idea of what this um, paragraph is, I'm just going to put it here for now and I'm going to take it out later. Um, and if you want to do that too, you can. Otherwise, you, just, you don't need a, um, a subheading for this for this part. If you remember from our turtles example, there's no subheading there to suggest that it's a classification. We just know that that's our introduction or classification. So I'm using um, my first little um, note there. So mammals. This will be a very um, easy sentence. Elephants are mammals. Now, I always like to um, look at um, how I can expand my sentences or explain it further or elaborate. So I wouldn't go on to the different types of species yet. I could actually say, what is a mammal? Because there may be people that actually don't know. Um, mammals are warm-blooded creatures. Okay, now I could also expand on that further, um, but I'm going to leave it there and perhaps do a little bit more research on that first. Um, and you can keep doing that throughout your paragraph as well. You don't just have to rely on the information that's there. If you think, oh, I didn't need a little bit more information on that, go and search it up, go and have a look, and um, that'll help you expand your writing even further. Uh, the second sentence I'm going to write is there are uh, two types actually i'm not going to say types i'm going to say species two species um of elephants there are two species of elephants uh the asian and the african elephant now, you can see here too, I've used a variety of sentences in this paragraph. I've got a short sentence, a longer sentence, and then a longer sentence again. Now, we worked on that um, at the beginning of this term. So if you can look at your sentence and see if you can make a variety of sentences, that would be awesome. Um, also, just a little note. Elephants and mammals is not the most exciting way to start an information report. It's not really a sizzling start. Um, I could put in a really fun fact or something in there to, to begin with. So it grabs the reader's attention and I will do that later. I'm going to do that in our next lesson next week. Um, but just for now, I'm going to leave it like that. Um, and my last little sentence is going to be um, elephants live between 50 to 70 years. So I've used my dot point to do um, that sentence. Um, there, and just to um, finish off this paragraph, there are 
many fascinating um, things to know about the elephant, which brings me to then my next subheading. Okay, so subheading one, habitat and lifestyle. Now, I am not going to put subheading one there. I'm just going to put the subheading. So I'm going to underline that, which is habitat and lifestyle. So as you can see, I'm now up to my next bit of my notes. Okay, so I'm going to do, so found in Africa. You... And Asia. Um, elephants are normally found in Africa and Asia. Now, see this fact too here. I could go on to that fact, um, which I am, but I'm going to try and elaborate on that. So, it lives in grassland and rainforests and deserts. Now, I can say that that sentence there or that point there, they live in a variety of places. So I'm going to add that to my sentence. Um, so they, um, oh, I'll try that again. I may have put that in the wrong spot. They, excellent. They live in a um, variety of places such as grasslands, rainforests, and deserts. Beautiful. Um, now the next little point there you have is st uh, stays in groups called herds led by the oldest female. So um so i'm going to change that fact around and write it in a different way females are actually the leaders of the herds it is the oldest female that um all Elephants look up to. Okay, now you'll also notice I've just put my three facts in here. Now I haven't actually done a topic sentence, so I need to start my paragraph with a topic sentence first. So it's on habitat and lifestyle. So I'm going to write something um, that sums all this up together. So I'm going 